2,000 people are expected to flock to Glam's Castle this weekend to see cars spanning 100 years of motoring history. Everything from bikes and cars to military vehicles and trucks will be on display at the Scottish Transport Extravaganza. Laura Hamilton went along for a look. From pristine vintage vehicles to more modern classics, the Scottish Transport Extravaganza has it all. We have 1,500 entrants coming with their exhibits, exhibits ranging from 1890 right up to the present day. Uh, we have stalls, we have attractions at the ringside, fire entertainment down there. It'll also suit those who are looking for the spare part for that, that vehicle that they're restoring or whatever, so there's something for everyone. Up to 15,000 people are expected to come along this weekend to show off their vehicles or to admire the exhibits like this 1926 Bullnose Morris Cowley. I've always liked cars and uh, especially old ones. Uh, way back when I was still at school we got an old Series E Morris 8 and run it around the farm like a Land Rover until we wrecked it. Yeah, so. And since then it's just carried on. I've had a varied selection of cars. Yeah, so. Each car has its own history and the owners are eager to share their stories. Well, it was bought new in 1933 by a garage in Currie-Muir, Campbell Brothers and Irvin. And uh, in 1933 it cost over a thousand pounds. Well, it was used uh, for hire car duties. Um, I would imagine that the, the garage owner who bought it was hoping to get the hire trade from Glam's Castle and Cortiki Castle. I bought it actually from eBay. The previous owner was Richard Hammond. The event takes place at Glam's Castle tomorrow and Sunday. Laura Hamilton, STV News, Angus. Well, those were your local stories in Tayside.